Hi everyone. Um, this is a short video where I show how to use the MRI Crow GL software to measure lesions, volume, and number of voxels. And so first let me share the screen and load the software. Um, so first I have to load an, a background image. For example, I choose here the MNI 150. Sorry for that, MNI 152. Now you can see the values here are related to the X, Y, Z dimensions in millimeters, as well as in number of voxels. So if, for example, I'm taking the X dimension, going from the very right edge of the right hemisphere across all the brain to the left hemisphere. So I can see that at the very, um, at the very edge of the right hemisphere, this is the uh, value of 76 millimeters, meaning this is a distance between the, the zero point um, in the middle of the brain to uh, the very um, edgy point in millimeters. So if I go to the other side in the left hemisphere, I can see this is in minus, so negative numbers. So going all the way up to minus 70, minus 76 almost. The same as for the other dimensions. Now, if we look at these numbers, um, so they are representing the number of voxels. Okay, so my image have dimension, has dimensions. And if I go continue with the X dimension, so you can see that I start from voxel number zero and going all the way up to voxel number, hmm, voxel number 206. Okay, so this is the number of voxels in X dimension. This number represents the brightness of a specific voxel that my cursor is on. So if I'm on the uh, CSF, it's pretty much dark. If I'm on the uh, Y matter, you can see it's very bright, etc. Now I load uh, one of my volume of interest. In my case, it is uh, lesion maps. So I have subject with brain lesions and I want to measure their volume of each sub subject um, lesion, and then I can compare between them, etc. Of course, they have to be in the same um, dimensions and they have to be standardized or normalized to be in the same space because that, that is how I can compare them. So now I go to draw, um, open VOI, and I choose, let's say, I choose this subject. Um, you can see his lesion is pretty much small. And if I stand in the middle or the center of mass of this VOI, so mm -mm, more or less. So you can see these are the numbers I get. Mm. These are the numbers in millimeters. So the distance in millimeters from the uh, zero points in the in the X. So that would be negative, of course, because it is in the left hemisphere in the Y. Okay, so um, going uh, this way in the brain. So it's pretty much close to the zero in the Y. In the y. Um, and of course in the Z, so all the way up from the zero point. And these are the values that I get. Um, if I open the draw advanced and descriptives, so you can see that I get these pretty much um, similar values. Right, so looking at millimeters, so these are the values that I stand on because I thought this is the center mass of my image, but these are the accurate number in millimeters, and these are the accurate number in uh, number of voxels counting in the three dimensions, right? Um, yes, pretty much similar. Okay, now I have more values here, and they are um, in three rows. So um, the the three rows are related to um, all the voxels in my VOI. The second row is all the voxels that are different than zero and all the voxels that are positive, greater than zero. Why do I need this? If I have masks, I want to know how much voxels from the lesions are um, overlap with real voxels or voxels that has not the value of zero, let's say outside the brain, all right? So in my case, when I overlaying on the background image of the MNI standardized, uh, 152 template, I can see that all my voxels are positive and greater than zero. They are within the brain. So I have two, uh, 1,269 voxels. 
and it equals in volume cubic centimeters equals to 0.51, right? So cubic uh, centimeters. Now these values represent the um, um, the uh, brightness of each voxel within my VOI, okay? So the minimum, meaning the most darkest voxel is um, 46.4 and the mean brightness of my voxel is 71 and um, the maximum is 79 and the standard deviation is 6.6. .6. I can see that the, um, the average of the brightness of my uh, voxels in the VOI are pretty much uh, bright. So probably they are within the white matter also, and not only on gray matter. Um, so, um, if I want to convert the uh, volume to millimeters, so this number cubic centimeters taken to millimeters, I have to actually multiply this number by 1000, right? Because it's 10 to the power of three within with each voxels that will give me the conversion between centimeters and millimeters. I can also get this information from the image header. So going here, the spacing of each single voxel. Um, so I multiply, the spacing of each dimension, i, j, k, um, equivalent to x, y, z. So this is the volume in millimeters of a single voxel, right? And if I multiply this by the number of voxels, which was 1,269, I get pretty much the same number. So 509 um, volume millimeter of my VOI. All right, so now if I want to um, know how much my VOI overlap with anatomical regions, I can load some atlas. I use, uh, for example, the AAA atlas, and I can check how much is overlapping in voxels numbers, in um, volume cubic centimeters, um, and in percentage. So uh, in percent. So. To do this, I go here, file, go to add atlas. Now I hold the control key button down because if I will not, then I only will get ROI numbers, but not labels. I'm interested in labels. So telling me exactly um, the specific regions um, by names, anatomical regions. So holding the key, control key down, I press add atlas, AL, and now I can just move with my cursor um, on the brain and you can see here the anatomical labels. Now I add my VOI, so let's add the same VOI as before. So this was my subject. It's hard to see because of the colors. I guess here it is, yes. Okay, so you can see the red um, on overlaid on the purple color. And now I go to draw advanced descriptives. And what I get here is, um, the name of the anatomical region that is overlapping with my VOI. In this case, it's only one anatomical region. So the precentral gyrus left. And the precentral gyrus left has um, this number of voxels. But my VOI number of voxels that overlap with this region is only 499. So almost 500 voxels. And this is equals to 0.01% percent, all right? So you might ask, what about all the other voxels in my VOI? Because I had 1,269 minus 499. So it means that all the other 70 um, voxels are not in anatomical labels. So probably they are within the right, the white matter, for example. And we you seen before that the average brightness was pretty high. That means probably most of the uh, uh, most of my um, VOI is within the white hemisphere in this uh, sorry white matter in this case. Okay, so let's see if I have anything else to say. 
Um, no, I created my Legion maps, uh, NII or Nifty images files using the IDK snap. And I will upload a video explaining how I used it. I also consult a neurogeologist. It's pretty hard to um, define or decide which regions are impaired using the T1, T2 flare, but I still needed his help. Um, so I'll upload a video of that too. And I wanna thank Chris Roden, Dr. Chris Roden, um, from the developers of the MRCRO. So he's very patient and answering many questions. And you can actually use the uh, website of the MRI Crow GL here. There is a forum of help and people are uploading many questions and he's answering all of them very kindly. So I recommend using this as well. Um, thank you for watching and see you next time.